I'm going to do a show on peach cobbler. Joe's cooking up a storm and he says, I can't make any noise. I said, you can't make any noise, but you could be in the video. And then he goes, well, I need to make noise because I need to eat. I need to eat. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. <laughs> and we're back and seen. Don't forget to pick up my books and thanks to everybody who has picked up the books so far. You guys rock. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell and hit all. We're going to start off with a stick of butter. Butter, baby. Knife, this. Oh my god, I can't cut with that. Are you for real? For real? <laughs> you won't give me a smooth knife. Mm. And by the way, these knives suck. They're horrible knives, okay? Don't buy them. I was trying to get one that I had and I got the wrong thing. So let's start by putting the butter in the cast iron skillet. And then toss the paper on top. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands. Give me a second, guys. Don't mess with my stuff. I don't know what Joe's gonna do, but he's gonna have to move all this out of my way. I'm just saying. Me? I so, a cup of flour, a cup mm -hmm. of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder. He, he over there, real up. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Yeah, come on. Me? All right, get this all the way. The sugar's off to the side, that's off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is mix this up to make it into a batter. It's gonna look like pancake batter. More and more I think daddy's becoming pops. <laughs> <laughs> Even the way he eats, he like licks all of his fingers. He walks like. <laughs> and when he's hungry, get out of his way. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and mix this until it's smooth, okay? Then when I come back, you guys are gonna meet me over at the stove. I don't know who's gonna clean up this place, but they gotta clean up this place. Cause today is Saturday and I have to have a dessert. I don't have to. I've been kind of not doing the desserts on Saturdays, but I set myself up to do the desserts on Saturdays on my eating plan, okay guys? And just in case you wanted to know where I'm gonna get peaches from this time of the year, from the can. Remember that can of peaches I found and I did a salsa from it? Well, that's the leftover. I found it when I was doing the um, pantry. Ooh, fire too high. See how brown the butter is, guys? We don't want it to burn. So it's time to get the batter. Can you guys smell it? It smells amazing. Let me go ahead and shut this off. Oh, I just turned it to low. can't pick up the stupid peaches. They're so slippery. Okay. You don't have to be angry butter.
So I have the oven preheated to 375, guys. We're gonna bake this for like 40 minutes. So meanwhile, while it's baking, I'm gonna eat my lunch. And I've, I've not had a dessert in a while since I started the plan. Because I wasn't craving any. guys in 40 minutes. Josh just reminded me to set the timer. Okay, I'm gonna eat this though. As an oh. oh, that looks so good. It's two beef with potatoes. Mm. Okay guys, while the thing is baking, I'm making my plate, right? So half the plate is the salad. Normally this should be a third for the rice because it's a grain, but I only put a quarter because I want, I want a piece of that potato off of the beef, okay? But let me show you something. This is my salad dressing that I made. It's that good mayo, the mayo made with olive oil, and mustard and relish. And what I do, I dip like that, see? And I'll eat like half the plate and then dip again. So this lasts me like a whole week. It doesn't go too fast. Oh, look at my meat. The diet does not call for red meat, but if you don't modify it for what you like, you're gonna get off of it. Come, Josh, show this. I'm gonna meet go on this little quarter of the page. The page, the plate. Let's put a little bit because the meat have some gravy there, and I'm gonna count that as an oil. Okay. Hmm. I want to show you guys something really, really quick. Jenna, can you get my little pouch thing that I sewed? I want to show you guys something. I'm so excited about this. Hmm. They're rushing me because they go into the store to pick up stuff. You can't for the peach cobbler. Make peach cobbler without ice cream, Mom. I have my ice cream. Mm. I have my lactose free, vividly vanilla ice cream. Look what I made. I used the squat from the shirt that I had. I made these little pockets, and then I list how many like protein and stuff. So it's five protein for the day. I already had one for breakfast, so now I'm having one for lunch, and I'm supposed to put it over on this side. I already had a grain for breakfast and I'm having a grain for lunch and you just keep doing it. So this is um, veggies, fruits, healthy fats, and dairy. I very seldom get into three dairy. It's like mostly one dairy because I need to find yogurt. I can't be doing that milk. That milk is high in sugar. The in the class, I learned that if you have like a dip in your sugar because you're diabetic, that milk will bring up your sugar quicker than orange juice. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. But I love my little thing. This is like Richard Simmons' deal a meal for people who can remember that. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. We have four minutes left on the timer and I wanna try something. This stove is trying my patience. Okay. The pot is so slight, it can't even stand up. <laughs> Let me pour some of the juice that the peaches were in. I'm gonna pour all of the juice. And what I'm gonna try to do is just reduce it and see what I get, okay? Maybe I could get a topping or something. The kids are still at the store getting their ice cream. But I don't but I don't need theirs because this is what I have. This is lactose free and it's vividly vanilla. So I can get a scoop. Meanwhile, Joe is busy at work finishing up this little Jeep. While I check on my little simple syrup here. Just turn it on again so it won't burn, okay? So now it's 40 minutes later, let me get my cobbler from the oven. Wow, this looks beautiful. Look how it's bubbling. This is gonna burn you if you touch it, all right? So leave it alone. Let me set the timer for 10 minutes for it to cool down because I don't want it to cool down too much. And I'm back to my simple syrup. I put some yellow dye in this. Now it's 10 minutes later. Let me go ahead and get out the first piece. Mm hmm. It's smelling so good because of the cinnamon and the brown sugar. 
me scoop a little bit more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure it cools before you eat it off of the spatula, okay? Now let me grab my ice cream and the kids are still not back from the store. Put one scoop and drizzle some of the simple sugar on top, or the simple syrup, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yes. This looks beautiful. Now let's go outside with me to take a picture. And it's been raining all day, guys. Really messing up my flow today. It's flooding in the backyard. We can't ride outdoors, so I have to walk the treadmill if I want to eat this cobbler. Okay. You taste? The ice cream is melting, so move quickly. You taste first. It's hot, you know. The, the peach cobbler is hot. It's good. You like it? Good so the kids, the kids are still at the store right now looking for ice cream because this one has to have Hagen Dazs. Is that, did I say it right? Hagen Dazs. Hagen Dazs. Hagen Dazs. And he wants strawberry. That's what I was raised on. You got orange peel on your mouth. Hey, that's what I was raised on. Hagen Dazs ice cream. I, I don't know why I don't like to eat dessert off of a metal spoon. I like it off of a plastic spoon. And um, and um, what's the name of the other one? Um, oh, we used to go to in Belize. Don't talk, Joe. Just don't talk. Oh, mm. Lord have mercy. Is it sweeter than me? Oh. <sighs> just, right. just a tad. Just a tad just sweeter. Just a tad sweeter. Okay. So, I'm going to put this up, but I'm going to make my own little thing because I don't want to eat this big amount right here. I'm going to put it in a smaller thing, but I just served a big piece for the Photoshop, okay? And this is what I'm eating so that I can enjoy it and not feel guilty. Now it's time for me to shut off the oven because it's done. I didn't shut it off earlier. Why? It was keeping the house warm. It's cold today and rainy. And look what I did with the um the sugar, right? Did it go off? No. Look what I did with the, the, the sweet thing that the peaches were in. The kids are back. They're back. How was the store? Did anybody ask for me? No. We, well, the person who rang this up, we didn't know. I asked that because I have a friend that works there, a Belizean friend, and she asked Joe, what happened, Barbara the Hyde? I haven't been in there since, I've been in there twice since the pandemic. What do you think? Well, you're the weakest out of us, like, health-wise, so I gotta keep you out of there. You're right. <laughs> they Tastes gotta protect good. me. Mm. I have all kind of enzyme deficiencies. Okay, it was only supposed Get to taste. Get out of here, you. Taste, Jada, taste, not eat, taste. Because mm -hmm. you might want your own ice cream. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's Bye. pretty good. <laughs> I hope you guys make this. Jada, look what I did. I reduced down the... Yeah, I was like, what's the topping? Is it the the <laughs> No, it's the sugary <laughs> thing. Oh, oh I could have put though. butter in that, though. It would have become butterscotch. Good looking out. Put a little bit of butter, like two <laughs> taps, two tablespoons, and then cook it. And then what I put in there to make it yellow was some yellow dye. Mm. But the butter would have given it the yellow color. And then just put it on the top, just for garnish. What, this one? Bye guys. Bye everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us today. <laughs> Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks, guys. You come and try? Joshua, tell them what page they can find the peach cobbler in my book, The Pantry Laid Bare. 168. No, it's page 60. <laughs>